The four-game set with Midland began on a high note as the Hooks opened with a dramatic win. All even at 1-1 in the third, Team RBI leader Kobe Clemens pounded this double to left, scoring T.J. Steele from second to give the Hooks a 2-1 lead. Clemens made it to third on the throw home, but was stranded there to end the inning. The Rockhounds tied it again in the eighth on Archie Gilbert's third home run of the year, setting up the dramatic finish in the ninth. Marcos Cabral singled with one out to get the rally started. With J.B. Shuck at the plate, Cabral stole second. That set the stage for Shuck, who drilled this offering from Bo Vaughn into the gap in right center, bringing Cabral around with the game-winning run in Corpus Christi's 3-2 triumph. Shuck talked about the hit afterwards. Um, you know, I was just, just going up there knowing I could do it, um, you know, and, and making sure I got a pitch a hit. I ended up getting a, a slider that was up and, and stayed back on it, was able to drive into the gap. The momentum from Monday's win didn't quite carry over for the hooks into Tuesday, but things looked okay early on behind the pitching of 19-year-old Jordan Lyles, who recorded a season-high nine strikeouts in his six and a third innings of work. Midland, though, managed a pair of runs in the fourth to grab a 2-1 lead. The Hooks responded in their half of the fourth, taking advantage of John Gaston's leadoff double. Gaston scored two batters later when John Florentino drilled this single to right, nodding the affair at two. The Rockhounds took over late on offense, plating a go-ahead run in the seventh, followed by a five-run outburst in the eighth. Jamile Weeks' two-run single here gave the Hounds a 5-2 lead, and Matt Solentic followed with a two-run safety of his own to put the game out of reach at 7-2. Alex Valdez provided a run-scoring triple to cap the scoring at 8-2 in favor of Midland. The triple-happy Hounds continued with their onslaught of three base hits Wednesday. Jermaine Mitchell's triple here and subsequent error on the relay throw allowed Mitchell to score, giving the Rockhounds a 3-0 advantage in the second. Mitchell would triple and score again in the fourth, making it 6-1 in favor of the visitors. Mitchell pounded three of Midland's five triples Tuesday and Wednesday. That run support was more than enough for starter Anthony Capra, who earned his second win of the year by holding the hooks to a run on three hits over seven innings. He struck out six while facing just four over the minimum. Reliever Eric Abreu provided a bright spot for the hooks, coming through with four innings of shutout relief. He allowed just two hits and a walk while striking out five. In the home ninth, Clemens, the Texas League's home run leader, clubbed his seventh of the year to left center to give the Hooks the final run in a 6-2 loss. Thursday's series finale got off to a scary start as Young Chi Chen's line drive to center resulted in this collision between Steele in center and David Cook coming over from right. Steele took the brunt of the collision and was slow to get up but remained in the game. The Hounds would take advantage of that play to score twice in the top of the first. Corpus Christi, however, stormed back thanks to Ben Hornbeck's lack of control. Shuck singled to open the home first, and the Midland starter walked the next three batters to get the hooks a run. Herman Duran's sacrifice fly tied the game, and Cook followed with this ground ball that played at Steele for a 3-2 hooks lead. Midland equalized in its half of the second on Mitchell's RBI single. Hornbeck found the reins on his control, and the game remained tied at three until the sixth. With two outs and a runner at second, Steve Clean doubled to left to get Gilbert home, putting the Hounds ahead to stay 4-3. Clean, who finished the evening 4-4, four for four, scored on this single by Mitchell to reach the final of 5-3 Midland. The Hooks took small solace again from their relief core as Henry VR and Danny Mazaris combined for three innings of shutout work. VR, who lowered his ERA to 0 0.71, retired all six men he faced, striking out three. Corpus Christi stands with a record of 9-11, entering the extended weekend series with Frisco.